What up, gang? Welcome back. Uh, we're starting the day off with some chicken fingers. Now, there's this place called Lane's. It's like 15 minutes from where I'm staying. And they only sell chicken fingers. And if a place only sells chicken fingers, it has to be banger chicken fingers, right? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. These look like they bang. Look at that. I'm just gonna give it a taste. No sauce. I'm gonna give it to them on the on the no sauce bite. Now this is their sauce right here. Smells it's like it's just barbecue and ranch. Back in the day, we used to call that ranch a q. I thought I made that up, and then I realized I didn't. Uh, let's go with the sauce. Taste test number two. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The sauce is definitely 100% just ranch and barbecue. But now we have the crinkle cut fries. Let's see how that goes. Not too little salt, not too much. Good crisp to them. And now, last but not least, that good old Texas toast, which I think just has a bunch of salt on it from what I'm seeing. A lot of salt, but damn, Lanes. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a 7.8 out of 10 overall. Everything here is pretty good, but nothing stands out. <laughs> All right, I take back our previous rating of a 7.8. I'm going to give them an 8 because of the ice. Look at that ice. That's some cool ice, and I enjoy that, and it goes well in my Yeti. So far, one thing I absolutely love is there's just so many different places to eat. I just stopped and got coffee. It didn't even make it to a, re a review because it was so damn good, but I don't even like coffee, but I stopped and got some, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. There's just everywhere you look, there's a place that I've never tried or never even heard before, and I love it. So we out here just set one lead so far, but dude, I don't know if it's how I slept last night, but I tweaked my neck so bad. Like, I can go the whole way this way. But I can go to here. Like, I, I cannot turn my head any farther. It hurts so bad back here. But check this house out. This house back here got smoked, dude. Someone burnt that bitch down. Funny, first of all, that needs to stop. I'm just gonna have to keep my hand up here to block that glare. Um, okay, no, no, that's bad. I gotta wipe my phone off. Bro, that is so funny. I just was sitting in my car, just wrapped up work. I was, you know, inputting some info and this dude walks up to me and he goes like, bro, you all right? Like, you need some money? And I'm like, the fuck? Why would you come up to me and ask that? And then I realized that it looks like I'm homeless because all my belongings are in my car and I have like a makeshift bed over all my belongings so people don't like look in and steal my, like my shit. And this guy's like, well, bro, like you've been parked in the neighborhood all day. You got out of state plates. It looks like you're living out your car. He was like, I want to make sure like you didn't need something or like you weren't a creep. He's like, my family lives here. I didn't want like something bad to happen. I'm like, bro, like I'm working. And he's like, you're working. I'm like, yeah, I do door to door, bro. Like, I guess most people, if I just told them I'm working and I'm sitting in my car in a neighborhood, they're gonna be like, what? Which makes sense. But I didn't think about it like that. And he's like, we well, need money. I'm like, no, I'm good. I just don't have a place to stay right now. And he's like, we need a place to stay. I'm like, well, like I have a place to stay, but like, I don't have a place to like permanently stay yet. <laughs> bro, it's so funny. Like I, I totally didn't expect that to come. I was like, why, why is he walking up to me? Am I going to get like just bitched at? And it was just really funny. He was super nice, though. He asked me if I needed, like, food or, like, money and shit. I I mean, I should have just told him. I should have lied and been like, yeah, bro, I'm broke. I'm living in my car. Like, I don't know where I'm getting my next meal. Honestly, just Yeah, I thought that was funny. But second day at work, two leads in. That's, but... like, at the very least, at the very least, that's $40. But that also could be, like, $4,000. So, yeah. That's the game we play when we get paid only by commission, you know? But I was like, oh, daddy. Mm. Even at room temperature, this shit smacks. I'm gonna go put like probably 10 miles in on the bike, try to burn a little bit, you know what I mean? But then it's back to the same old, same old. Hit the sack, wake up, we got a work meeting tomorrow.
And there we go, another 10 miles on the bike. Come on, baby, don't play with me. We out here putting in that work, man. I'm telling you, y'all gonna see me shredded, dog. Shredded, bro, like the lettuce. No kizzy, no cap. I want to give you I want to give you a shout out to be honest because if you're watching this right now it means you're sticking with the bullshit dog half my vlogs are in the car right now because I'm bouncing between place to place I'm working I'm not working I'm at the gym I'm not at the gym but I'm always in the car for every clip bro I swear so for real for real thank y'all for hanging out with me thank you for tapping in every day man I, I appreciate that more than you'd ever know but look it's my time to shine guys I really do appreciate it you hanging out with me another day in a row I got a 45 minute drive back to the crib and I got to hit hit the sack because we got a work meeting in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. I know I think I said that like 30 times in the last 20 seconds, but I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. That was so bad. I gotta do it again. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I messed it up twice in a row. I literally messed the outro up twice in a row. I do this every day. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.